Capitalism, sexism, ignorance. This is the story of a terrible, terrible marketing campaign. See, I have just arrived home in Israel. And as I took the train home, I saw this. An ad campaign that I couldn't believe was a real thing. I'm gonna play the ad for you, but I'm gonna block the company name because they don't deserve any more publicity. Are you ready? Freedom is basic, 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 basic. Yeah, when I saw that ad, I was angry. How could that be okay in today's world? And it wasn't just me who was angry. Pretty much everyone that saw it got angry as well. Israelis got angry because the ad compares Israel to Iran. And we all know there's a major difference between the two. Muslims in Israel got angry because this obviously disrespects an entire religion. And women got angry because this ad suggests this means freedom and this means no freedom. It assumes that the less clothes you have, the more free you are and that is an insult to every woman's choice. Look. I would never care about this topic if it was a one-off mistake or whatever. But it's not. This is a systematic problem. To produce these ads, many people had to come up with the idea. Others had to approve it, others had to film it, and many others had to market it, and no one stopped it from going online or slapping it on buildings. This is the real problem, where ads like this have to go through so many people and so many people think it's okay. Look, even if there is a little bit of truth in the ad, there's a lot that is not okay in it. It is not okay to disrespect an entire country, an entire gender, or an entire religion just to sell a t-shirt.